Hey, what's up guys? Here for another recap. I don't exactly remember the last thing I said, and I say that every single time I know, but... Um, I don't know... Did I, did I check in with you guys last night, or was it this morning? I don't think it was this morning. Let me just tell you about my whole day, just to make sure. Alright, so last night, I went super hard at Planet Fitness. Ape fucking mode. It was awesome. And this morning, I made sure to put in some good work, too. Uh, though I ended up slightly regretting it, but actually, I don't really regret it at all. I'll, just, I'll get into it. It'll make sense later. Maybe I'll forget. Who knows? <laughs> so today, I only had one mission. Well, well, for one, I've been writing a book lately. Like, uh, normally, I do, like, a page or two of poetry a day. And I like to post that on Instagram, but I was like... Maybe I can make something, like, grander, you know, because I got all this time, and I wrote a short story once in high school, and so I kind of want to get into that, and, uh, when I was writing that last night, uh, Plato, he came to my mind, I can't exactly say why, but Symposium, also there's an epic rap battle of history with a bunch of philosophers, and that, that, that really fucking popped into my noodle. So I was like, Symposium, I'm gonna look that up, and, uh, Turns out it's like, Symposium is basically Plato's retelling of uh, a dinner gathering, sort of, that happened. A party, if you will, between wise men and philosophers and nobles from uh, Greek and Roman times. So, it's in, they gathered in this dinner thing in praise of the god of love, and each of them were asked or challenged to make the best speech possible about the god of love. So I've been doing that. And uh, I, I wanted to read that book. So uh, I was like, today's mission is to walk to Books A Million and go and get Symposium. That's what I wanted to do. And that turned out to be an epic adventure. So let me tell you about it. I, I walked to Books A Million and I didn't find Symposium, but I did get a whole book of a bunch of Plato's works including the entire book of Symposium, so hey, ain't that pretty cool, I got some bonus. And while I was there, I was like, oh shit, I found some other good stuff too, I kinda wanna get into that too, you know? So I got The Art of War, and two books by Nietzsche, Of Truth and Untruth, and Beyond Good and Evil. Classics, I'm told. I've, I've been like under this impression that nihilism and Nietzsche's kind of ideas are pretty vain in general, but so far, it seems to be pretty lit. Uh, I haven't really, like, gotten... I haven't read long enough to understand his style, but... I'm a fan so far. <sighs> I'm not supposed to be spending probably as much money. Like, 20 bucks a day, I'll be good. But I spent, like, 40 bucks on that shit. And, uh, but then I thought of it like this. You know, this is, like, a permanent spend. Like, I'm building my future house, starting with the library. I want to make sure it's filled with some good stuff. Cool. Now the journey back was honestly probably even more awesome for me, more valuable for me. So I went to Five Star Nutrition again because I knew I was going to be walking by. I was like, it's been uh, a little bit. I want to see where I'm at, you know. I want to see if I've gotten fat or if I've gotten any results. Let me tell you, boy did I. Man, they got some real expensive stuff in there. Like I want to buy shit to support their business, but wow, that stuff's expensive. Anyway, <laughs> I think I would be buying pre-workout from them, no doubt. But protein, I got a killer deal on protein at this other store, so I can't pass that up. Kind of hurts, because, like, you know, I fucking love this company for all I do. Anyway, walked into Five Star Nutrition to get my body scan. Um, I got one last time. It gives you basically your body composition type deal. So last time, which was eight days ago, eight days from today, backwards. I was 165 pounds, 87 pounds of skeletal muscle, 9% body fat. Today, now, I did eat. So with a full stomach, maybe affected the numbers. I also weighed in at 171, a little bit later on after pooping. So let's just say 171 pounds. 171 pounds, 92 pounds of skeletal muscle, 7.8% body fat. Isn't that the craziest thing you've ever heard? I mean, they all seemed like it was pretty crazy, the way they were talking about it. Um, up 5 pounds of muscle, and down 1.2% body fat in 8 days. 
<laughs> Winchester training's no joke, I guess. I mean, like, I knew I was going hard for real, but to have uh, numbers to go along with it is actually like a whole new element of coolness. Like, numerical value for my training progression. Because I was just worried I was getting fat, you know, but I put on five whole pounds of muscle. I can't hate on that. <laughs> yes, and uh, now this is something that I wasn't going to say. I didn't say it for my Snapchat or Instagram. Like, I wouldn't post about it, but since this is like an adventure log, and I'll write about this in my journal, so I will tell you guys here as well. Um, there was a, a homeless man I saw while I was walking back, and I was like, oh, shit, man, I'm, I'm passing by him. You know, I only got $1 bills, you know, might as well do my thing, you know. Because I've seen a lot of homeless people in Winchester. So uh, I've actually left some food sometimes, like around this Planet Fitness. There's like two hobo-looking camps. So I put down some Cliff Bars and spaghetti and meatballs. Just figuring, you know, it could help. It really could. So I gave one this guy $3 and uh, he said, thank you, man. Merry Christmas. I'm like, no problem, man. Stay safe. It's cold. <laughs> and I just kept walking. Sure as heck. There's actually another guy. And I was like, God damn. Gotta help this bro out too, you know? <laughs> so this guy, I gave him $2. And he said, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. He gave me like a hug. Not like a super like hug hug, but like, you know. You can tell what a fucking hug is. You know, a little appreciation touch. And I was like, thank you, man. Just have fun. Stay safe out here, you know? I feel like that was like compounding good karma. Plus with all this philosophy I've been reading and all this writing and training I've been doing, it's like... The coming to Winchester was simply the best idea of my whole life. I have never experienced such growth in such a short amount of time. If I'm just out here in the world in pure zen. And everything I experience is magic. And every bit of training I do and reading, it's all... It's all helping me become something amazing. And I have no doubts that I will achieve my dreams. And uh, I guess Winchester might be the place I do it. I could get a job here and stay here. It's a legit possibility. Maybe I will someday, but... I do plan on going home, and then I can decide later if I'm gonna come down to stay. That would be kind of cool. Honestly, but we'll see. Not just yet. It's on the way, though. Definitely, definitely on the table for brain thoughts. Could this be the next great step in my life? The next little chapter? I mean, this is like four months that I'm doing this, and I'm really living here, so it's not like this isn't a part of my life. I will always carry this story with me, but I mean, like, could it be like the next thing? We'll see, man. I still got a lot of work to do in Winchester, and I've only actually been here for about two week, two weeks now. Two weeks and a day-ish. Came here the 4th. Arrived on the 4th. Um, and today's the 18th. So, yeah. Two weeks, man. Can't tell if it's been forever or not long, but... You know, I will be excited to go home and see everybody I love. Definitely. But... This is also its own very, very, very cool experience, you know. And the only way it could be capped off is if I had a house. Like, a home base, so to speak. And uh, if I was working, I guess that would be that would be cool as well. But I'm taking this time specifically as not working time. Time when I have nothing but time to just be awesome, to just do my thing. To really, really, really push for my goals. And then I can go back to normal life, as I might call it, <laughs> in a few months. Um, but in reality, a life like this, full of adventure, new experience, productivity, that is really the goal. If I can learn how to make money out here, um, you know, if I can do it without uh, wage slave society, then that would be, well, that would be the, the grand step, I suppose. I mean, I got a donation once, and that was as close as I have gotten, but really looking to see all what, all that I can do out here. You know, maybe I'll get a sponsorship with Five Star Nutrition or something. You know, I love, I love the opportunities that are coming to be because of my hard work. I'm glad that 
I mean, it's not that recognition is what I want, so to speak, but it does feel nice to know that uh, proper effort does yield results. I'm really seeing that. Beyond just, uh, you know, the muscle that I'm clad in and the uh, published Instagram posts, you know. I guess those are all just, like, expressions of self, but it's really nice to to take it to the world, I suppose. Winchester's been good for that. And this time is priceless. I mean, I could actually give you a price on it whenever it's all done, but... <laughs> Uh, um, for now, it's it's just grind time, and uh, got lots of fun to do. For right now, though, I just got done. Uh, right after the homeless thing, I went to Nutri Corner, did some training. But because of my training at Planet Fitness yesterday and uh, this morning, see, I did remember. <laughs> I wasn't quite as uh, juiced up as normal. So uh, I just made sure I did some work, though, you know, moved around more than just walking. But it wasn't a super energetic day for me. And that's okay because, uh, I mean, I just went ham as fuck in a different way. Gotta make sure I'm recovering all the way. I hear tomorrow's adventure is actually pretty packed. We're gonna be hanging out with this Cory guy, Johnny Apple CBD. Let's work! <laughs> Bro, if we've become good enough friends and uh, I'm famous enough or you just like feel like checking out my stuff enough that you're actually watching this video right now, that's cool as shit because this is before I met you. But uh, you're a legend among all my friends. <laughs> I could walk into anyone's house and be like, Johnny Apple CBD, <laughs> let's work. Street beefs, you know what it is. Motherfucker. I'll beat you up. <laughs> just let me use my feet. All right, man. Well, uh. I'm not going to stop talking to this one person. Back to you guys. <laughs> yes. And uh, after we go hang out with this Cory lad, I, I got my boy Jeff super hyped on Golden Corral. Because I said, I gained four motherfucking pounds. And damn, buffets are killer. Like, they're, like you really can't go wrong with a buffet. And one like that, I'm loving it. Copyrighted. <laughs> So it looks like I might actually have some fun tomorrow. I might uh, try to fast in the day. Oh, tomorrow is also open sparring day. I won't be able to do too, too much because my hand is still actually not better. Um, give it a week. But I, I'll put on the 32-ounce gloves and do some light sparring. And I'll make sure to charge this camera so we can record it for the YouTubes, all right? I love you guys. I'm going to go walk around this building so I can take a piss. I mean, I'm going to go into a bathroom like... Um, actually, you know what? One last little metabolism burn. I'm going to run to the Taco Bell bathroom instead of walking around the corner barefoot. Well, I was going to do it barefoot, but this is my last dignified piss. Everything after this, I'll pee outside. How about that? Is that better, Mom? <laughs> Alright, guys, I love you. Peace out. Good night.